What's up, what's up, what's up? What's up, bros? How's everybody doing? Um, just give me a second to like get my stuff together, but did I do prep today? Yeah, I did do prep. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we do have some problems that I want to do. Oh, Rusum's got great news. That's awesome, bro. What's the great news? Um, you should you save fifteen percent by switching your car insurance. Um, what's up, Gray? Dude, Bob the Bot Builder's in town. What's up, Bob? It's been a minute. Laurel's here. What's up, man? Beat trick shots. Brielle, nice. Yeah, Bob, you have been gone for a while, bro. Good to see you. Three new friends. <laughs> that's all, dude. That's three more friends than I have. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude good job super good good job yeah i did add poll questions but um didn't it wasn't like the smoothest transition into them but i figure we can do some today um i have a bunch of questions ready for us to to do and i kind of want to do timed assignments dude in furnace you emailed me memes how come i didn't get them that's so sad what email did you send it to Ugh, that's tragic. Oh, I got it. Oh. <laughs> that's a really good one. Um, yeah, dude. What's up, Zeden? All right. So uh, let's get to it. Um, let's see. Good luck. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right, so I, I th what should we do? Should we go through these questions hard, uh, the hard ones first, or should we save these for the poll at the end? I don't really know. I'm gonna save five of these for the poll at the end though. So let me just pull five out really quick so that we can have something to do at the end there. We'll do this. We'll do this, and this is a really good one. Dude, I'm thanks. Yeah, I know, bro. I, I'm like so close. Um, I'm like, I would really, really like to make a thousand subs. That would be like totally, totally awesome. Um, okay, one more. Um, I feel like I. Okay, we'll do this one. So one, two. Three, four, I just need one more. Uh, we'll do this one, five. Okay, so those are the questions we're gonna do towards the end. Uh, and my, I did, yeah, April, I did say I was never gonna do poll again, but I'm gonna try it. I'm literally just gonna try it. Um, yeah, so I set aside these, we can do these later, but let's go into these questions first that I have ready for us today. Um, I have not, I have not secured the G Fuel sponsorship yet. <laughs> yeah, I always need more memes, dude. Always. What's up, Zhao? Okay, so let's get it. Um, I'm like ready to start, so let's go ahead and um, let's go for this one. So I have answer choices for all of these. Um, we're gonna save the questions for the poll at the end, but you can just put your answer choice in the chat, and I'll uh, I'll watch it. I'll, I'll write it down. All right, so. In this target, the center of both circles is point G. If I throw a dart and hit the target, what is my probability I hit inside of the smaller circle? Okay, let's go. Oh wait, I wanted this to not be, hold on, let me change this number really quick. I wanna change this, hold up. So then it would be, uh, hold on a second. I just want to make sure that this is legit. Um, hold on. <laughs> this was obviously the last one that I did before the stream. They all won't be like this, I promise. I'm just making sure that it's good. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay, this is not good. Hold on. I'm going to change this. So, hold on. One. Yeah, that's what I want. That's what I want. So I'm gonna change this number. I'm gonna change this number really quick. This is now F4. Okay, back on track. Let's get it. Mm. 
yeah, you just throw the dart randomly for sure. That's what we're assuming. But we know for a fact that we hit the dartboard. What's up, Andrew? Dude, that's huge. That's great news, Shad. Um, I knew it, dude. I knew it. What's up? What is this? <laughs> Yeah, this is SHSAT, bro. <laughs> oh, Red Wall. What's up, bro? All right, Saggy's in the house. Ooh, I got my colored pens now, dude. I don't need to be a bum with just my black. Saggy. Got you. Uh, Leong. 80. Diao. Ricky. Uh, nice dude. Nice. Yeah, it's okay. What is this? Just keep grinding. And if you don't get it, we'll do the answer afterwards, Bob. Dude, nice shot. That helps, bro. If you just stand up and scream your name, people will be like, who's that cool guy? <laughs> Let us. And I'm writing your name down, dude. I just, it's at the bottom of the screen. Uh, Giyu. Um, Lulu. Nice, April. Okay, guys, good. Dude, yes, yes, yes. Zach. Crunchy. Vena. Dude. Gi, you already got you, bro. Uh, Laurel. Dude, everybody. Yay. Skills, Geo. Nice. Brielle. I think I already got you, but I got you again. Nice. <laughs> Did you really shot? I was just joking, but... Uh, whatever. In furnace. Okay, let's let's go through this. All right. Uh, yeah, Rusum is getting real technical with it. What's new? All right, dude. So here's the question. What we're basically asking is, what is the probability we get this area? What are the total area we could get? Well, the total area is this whole entire circle. So first, we got to find the area of each circle. This is a radius of eight. So the circle is going to be pi r squared or pi 8 squared. So the radius of this guy is 64 pi. Cool. So notice that the radius of this is not 4, but the radius of this is 8 and then 4 more. So this outside circle has a radius of 12. So 12 times 12 is 144 pi. So we always do what we want over the entirety of the thing. So what we want is anywhere inside of this 64 pi, and the whole possibility is 144 pi. These pi's cancel out, and we can divide by 2. So 32, and that'd be 100. Or that'd be 50, 77. Um, both of these can... That does not work out. Wait, I did that wrong. 144 divided by 2. I'm so dumb sometimes. 7, 14... Um, to 72. Duh. So both of these can be divided by 2 again. 16 over 236. Both can be divided by 2 again, which would be 8, uh, 18. And then divided by 2 again, what we're going to get is 4 ninths. So yeah, that's our answer, 4 ninths. This 64 pi over 144 pi turns itself into 4 ninths, and that's going to be our probability B. Nicely done, bros. Okay. I'm crumbling it. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go. Number two. Or I guess just the second question. There are 45 toppings for ice cream. I'm going to order five different toppings. How many different five topping ice creams can I order? Let's go. I got 64 pi out of 144 because 64 pi was the area of the inner circle. 144 pi is the entire circle's area.
What's up, Gino? See you later, Gino. <laughs> Prominent. Nice dude. <laughs> Ricky. Zeden. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine, Laurel. Jane. Uh Beatrix. Um, yeah, basically Rusim. Yeah, that's basically how it goes down. Uh, almost Laurel. That's gonna not get you the answer though. B trick shots got you. Brielle. Saggy. Who? Ziao. Yeah, dude. Prominence pretty fast, bro. Lulu, is that you saying A? Giyu. Uh Zach. Who? B? Uh, did you say B, April? No. Shod. Who? Rusem. <laughs> uh, Zach, did I get you, bro? Got you now. I think I got you twice already. Leo, got you. Alicia. Okay. You finessed it, Jane? Let's hope you finessed it right. Uh, Jordan Leung. All right. That's enough. That's enough time. Is that two minutes? Whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay. So let's go through this. All right, bros. So combination. Do you guys, a oh, red one, do you guys remember how to do a combination? Right? You set up like a permutation up top. And then you divide it by the number of things that you're picking factorial. So this is going to be 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And this is going to be our permutation 45, 44, 43. So what our fraction actually looks like is 45 times 44 times 43 all over 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay, so this 4 can go into this 44 and that's 11. This 5 can go into this 45, and that's 9. These two things together is 99. Um, 43, does anything go into 43? No. So that just kind of stinks. We just have to do that straight up. Um, so we have 9. This 3 can go into this 9 to make it a 3. So it would be 3 times 11 times 43. So 3 times 11 times 43 all over 2 times 1. So 2. So 33 times 43. Um, 9, 12, 0, 9, 12, 9, 3, 1, 4, 14, 39. Wait, no way that's right. Did I do this right? 33 times 43? That cancels that out. <laughs> that cancels that out. That cancels that out. Yeah, that's, that's right. Okay, that's 9, that's 12. That's zero, that's nine, that's 12, nine, three, carry the one, four. Yeah, that's right. Divided by two. That can't be right, no way. I did this in my head and I have different answers. <laughs> oh, cause I'm picking five, not three. Duh, times 42 times 41. Okay, that's why. So this, this is, uh, let me make some more sense of this actually, because I just totally, <laughs> uh, you're watching it happen, bro. I know, I was not looking at the comments and everybody's clowning me so hard. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay, all right. So what this is, 45 times 44, because we're picking five of these, duh, so dumb sometimes, three times two times one. All right, I definitely deserve that. <laughs> I definitely deserve it, okay? <laughs> fine, all right, fine. I, you guys are cool and smart, I'm dumb. That's still 11, I'm still gonna do this. And that's still three, 
um, but this would be 21 now. So it would be 33 times 43 times 41 all over one. So let's go into it. I already know what 33 times 43 is, 1439. So 1439 times 41, that's 9, 3, 4, 1, 0, 6, 12, 15, 16, 17, 4, 5. So 9, 9, um, 9, 8, 5. I did not get any of my answers. Did I mess up again? <laughs> I'm so done with this problem. I don't want to do this problem anymore. <laughs> Did I forget to divide? What happened to me, bros? That is good. That is good. That is good. Times 33. I forgot my 21. Oh my God. So I got to times this by 21. Oh my gosh. Okay. Nine, nine, nine eight five i will complete this the moral of this story is not that i'm bad at math the moral of the story is that you should never give up that's the moral of this story never give up um 18 19 18 19 16 17 10 11 big number uh 9 17 19 18 8, 13, 2, 1. Oh my God, I must have messed up again. All right, dudes, well, at this point, <laughs> I'm, closest to, I'm closest to C. I know I messed up my multiplication. Let's keep moving. <laughs> uh, the moral is to always use a calculator. That's the moral. Thanks, April. Thanks for believing in me. Never give up, kids. Keep Stay in school. Don't do drugs. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I'm like sweaty. I'm like so nervous. I can't believe I couldn't even do that. All right. A rectangle Tupperware is 6 inch by 4 inch by 8 inch. What is the square footage of the volume? Let's go. The answer is C, April. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have actually thrown that away. I can explain it. I realize a lot of you got a lot of you got the wrong answer. So we'll do this one and then I'll go back and I'll explain it. What did I do to the thumbnail? I don't know. MH. Uh, we'll get them next. <laughs> Mission failed. We'll get them next time. That's so funny. Uh, we'll go back to it, Phoenix, I promise. All right, Saggy. You know, like a, it's not like a round one. It's rectangle. B. Lechuga. Venna, Andrew, Laurel, Leong, Infernus got H, bruh, Tejas, nice, um, who else, Leo, thanks Shad, yeah, definitely subscribe if you haven't already, bro. What is this? Got you, bro. Uh, prominent. 16, miscellaneous. Got you, bro. Um, Infernus. Uh, MH. Um, Brielle. Give you guys 30 more seconds. Let's go. Uh, what is this? I got you, bro. Uh, Shod with a V. Very nice. April. 36 more subs, bros. 
Cannot wait. Miscellaneous, I got you, bro. Dark Souls. Okay. Cool. Yeah, dude, I'm so close. Red one. Okay. Yeah, go ahead, Infernus. Do it up. All right, that's enough time. Bros. Bros. Laurel, tried to tell you. I want square footage. This is in, this is in inches. And so you have to make the conversion first before you find volume. So instead of saying six times four times eight, can't do that. Six inches is one half. Four inches is one third. Eight inches is two thirds. Because, you know, that's eight out of 12. Know what I'm saying? So multiply the tops. Multiply the bottoms. One ninth. One divided by nine. You're going to get 0.1 all day long the answer is b yeah <laughs> so what you guys did here is you did really good work you did six times four times eight which is 24 times eight eight times four is 230 16 19 is 192 and so you got that it is 192 square inches and then my guess is then you tried to convert it so when you divide it by 12 here, you're going to get 16. But that's actually an incorrect answer because that's a square inch divided by feet, linear feet. So yeah, you, exactly. You have to convert before you do any math or else that's how like you get tripped up and put 16 when the answer is this. And also think about it, square footage. This is under a foot, this is under a foot, and this is under a foot. In order for it to be one square foot, it would be one feet by one feet by one feet. And so the fact that it's less than 12 inches, you know that the whole thing has to be less than a square foot. So you know it's going to be either A or B just based on thinking about it. Yeah. Why did I put it in a fraction? Just because I generally like working with fractions. Um, and six inches is one half of a foot. And four inches is one third of a foot. Yeah. Yeah, April, I'm going to go back to that problem, actually, just because I, I think it it deserves something, uh, deserves an explanation, just because I was so nervous about being bad at multiplication. <laughs> okay, so here's the question. I know you guys remember it. Um, so I want to go over how to do this really slowly, just to show you, because I used a calculator when I built this problem, and I didn't realize how heinous it is. So here's how you do a combination where the order doesn't matter. You set up a permutation and there's five different toppings. So we're going to go 45 times 44 times 43 times 42 times 41. That's five choices. And then we put it over five factorial because that's how many we're picking, which is five times four times three times two times one. So this is when I was doing the canceling out. You know what I mean? Won't they usually put the answer as fractions? Not only, t not always Tejas, not always, bro. Um, Okay, <laughs> yeah, so uh, let's go through how to do this. So first I just cancel out these fives. So 45 divided by five is nine, okay? Four divided by 44 is 11, okay? Uh, 42 divided by two is 21. So we could say that this is nine times 11 times 43 times 21 times 41 all over three times one. So then I'm going to go even further. I'm going to cancel this out. So that's just a three. So then it would just be three times 11 times 43 times 21 times 41. And this is where I got really messed up. So that's 33 times 43, which is nine, 12, zero, nine, 12. Okay, which is nine, 11, four, one, which is 14, 19. So then 14, 19 times 21 times 41. So we'll do 14, 19 times 21. 18 to three, eight, two, nine, 
nine seven nine two. So then we need to do two nine seven nine nine times forty one to finish this. Two nine seven nine nine times forty one. Well, that's just going to be nine nine seven nine two, and then we put a zero. Six thirty thirty six thirty nine twenty one twenty four. This will be thirty six thirty eight, and this will be eight. 9, 10, 11. So 9, 15, 17, 14, 11, 2, 1. So this would be the answer. It must have been a typo on my, my end. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, bang. So this is it right here. That's the answer. Um, hope that makes sense to everybody. Um, yeah, I hope it makes sense. Uh, obviously, this answer is like totally bunk. I must have had a calculator error because when I was doing this, you know what I mean? But that's how this goes down. So when you're doing combinations, this is the formula, bro. Let me show you. <laughs> Sorry, Lulu. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. So like, for example, if I have seven flavors and I pick three how many three different flavor bowls can I make okay so you have a combination problem like this you know what I mean um, so yeah, how would we do this basically is what I'm asking. What is the answer to this? Yeah, exactly, some lettuce, yeah. Twenty one. What's up, Henry? Nice. Uh, Shaggy and Skills got thirty five. <laughs> yeah, it's just like that, bros. Tagus. <laughs> Laurel. Nice. Yeah, exactly. So Brielle, it would be over three factorial. It's over three factorial. Cool. So like let's let's actually look at how this goes down. So I'm gonna set this up. I'm picking three. So just like it was a permutation, seven times six times five. This is if order matters, but order doesn't matter. So I have to get rid of duplicates. And I do this by having it over three factorial. Seven times six times five over three times two times one. That's going to go to three. That's going to cancel out. So it's going to be 35. That's how this one goes down, bros. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, that would be the answer for this one. All right, cool. Let's keep going. Let's keep working. So this one's actually really hard. I thought this question was going to be super, super hard. Sorry, I was just kind of explaining per, uh, combinations. I didn't really have that as a question. But check this out, bros. I think this is a really good one. Yeah, sorry about that dog in the background, guys. <laughs> the place I'm staying has like three dogs. They're so much fun. But they're like, they get really excited when they play and they just bark at each other. I will show the, I will show dog. I will do dog dog face. <laughs> yeah.
they're like they're like my best friends now. I love dogs so much. Oh my gosh. They're like in the other room. I can't go grab them. Otherwise I would. Alright, Bob's on this. Dude, Bob, how you been, bro? Um Nice. Twelve point five. That's not the answer choice, Laurel. <laughs> Saggy's got D. Okay. Zhao's got C. Ooh. Uh Ricky's got A. <laughs> yeah. This is a hard question, dude. This is actually a very hard question. Sorry, Saggy. <laughs> no, we are not rounding. This is like one of those classic SHSAT questions. Yep, exactly. It's logic. Yep. <laughs> yeah, because the answer is always C. Yeah. April. This is like who can finesse? Who can finesse this answer? Because there's no formula to use. Pool crack? I got you, bro. Um, oh my gosh. Hey, Jane. Uh, animation. Badman. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, dudes. So for this one, there is no formula. Tejas, I got you. There is no formula, right? You just have to figure this out, crunchy. So we know that B is the midpoint or C is the midpoint of AB. So C exists somewhere in here. We don't know where. And B is the midpoint of CD. So that means that this line and this line are equal. But if C is the midpoint of AB and this is the length of CB, well then that means that a, B, and C, B have to be equal to, which means that A, B is equal to C, B, which is equal to D, B, D. Now, that's like the mathy way to do this. Or you could just plug in answers and guess. You know what I mean? So, for example, if let's just go with 14 because nobody said it. If C is 14, that means that there's 4 here. So that means B is 18 and D is 19? Probably not. But if we plug in 13... Well, that's three, so this would be three more, so this would be 16, and we know that these are equal, so that'd be three more, that'd be 19. That's the answer, bros. The algebraic way to do this is that the entire distance is nine, and we have one, two, three equal lines. So we know that x equals three, or the distance between each line is three. Yeah, that's this question, bro. <laughs> yeah, you guys are lonely over here, aren't you? That's funny. You guys are normally so right, too. Okay, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Yes, yes. Let's go. Next one. Let's go. I told you I prepped today, bros. I'm like tired of my streams being trash. And I'm like so tired to think up questions. So I prepped today, bro. Let's go. What's up, Alana? <laughs> What's up, Badman? <laughs> yeah, you can also just use logic too, Bob. That's smart, bro. Nice. Sorry, I can't do a, a redemption, but yeah. Okay. You can always rewind the video too. Or just send me an email. I probably should wait to crumple paper April. That's probably a good idea. Saggy. Uh, just send me an email, Lechuga. I got your back, bro. Don't even don't even worry about it. Saggy, you can't change your answer, bro. Henry's got C too. 
Phoenix. Yeah, and Lechuga, sometimes, like, you just got to, like, be able to move on, dude. Because, like, some questions of the test will be so hard. You're going to be thinking about them, but you just got to drop it, move to the next one, bro. That's, like, how you do this. You just got to drop it and keep grinding. Alana. Badman. Nice. V Vena. Dude. Nice. Lechuga. Dude, could come back, bro. Pool crack. <laughs> That's a funny name. Pool. Jane. Yeah, dude. Um, Laurel. Dude, you guys crushed this one. Nice. Everybody's on point. Leo. Nice. Ziao. It's now Leo Ziao. Uh, dude. Good job, bros. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go over this really quickly because you guys crushed it so hard. Um, okay, so if this whole region is 48, that that means that that, that that this is, I can't talk, that this is six here. And guys, the equation for the area of a trapezoid is just you average the bases. So you add them up over two times the height, which in this case is six. So it would be eight plus 24 over two times six, um, a.k.a. I know what that is. 32 over 2 times 6, 16 times 6, 96. Oh, baby. Well done, bro. Well done. Okay. Good job, skills. I see you, bro. All right. We have more problems to do, so I got to keep grinding. Let's go. Ooh, this one is so good. Good luck on this one, guys. Really good luck. This one is super hard. Oh, no, April. Just everything. Just what's the area of everything? Yeah. <laughs> Ricky, the six was the height because that was a rectangle and the area was 48 and the base of it was eight. So eight times what equals 48? Eight times six. Yeah, that's a really good title, Badman. Should I use that? <laughs> okay, geeks on this already. Yeah, this is a really hard question. Yeah, exactly. Skills, thanks. Uh, Lulu, uh, skills explains it, is because six was the the height and eight times x equals 48 because it was a rectangle in the middle and we knew that the area of that was 48. Yeah. This one is so hard though, I think at least. Oh, yeah, that's sad, Ricky. It's okay. Bob. Okay, see you, Wiz. Take it easy, bro. Uh, April. Redwall. Uh, check your work, April. Um, Badman. Uh, Saggy. Uh, <laughs> Laurel. Lettuce. Nice. Shod. Jane. Noise. Yeah, exactly, pull crack. You gotta make the choice, bro. Phoenix. Okay. Um, pool, you want with B? Okay. Yeah, you finessed it, Laurel? How, what'd you do to finesse it? That's really good news. Xiao. Okay. Uh Brielle. Um Um, let's see. Ve uh, Venus, got you. Miscellaneous, got you. Um, okay. All right, so let me show you how to do this. So guys, just imagine if you will that, just imagine if you will, um, just actually hold on one second, I have to answer the door. Just be All right, sorry about that, bros. Okay, so yeah, imagine for a second if you had numbers. Like let's say Liz is first in line and Bo is sixth in line. Well, how many people are gonna be in between? Two, three, four, five. That's one, two, three, four in between. 
So if we do six minus one, her position, we're only gonna get five, and that's incorrect. And the reason why is because we're counting six. Whenever we do six minus one, we go from six, or I'm sorry, it wouldn't be six minus one. Oh yeah, it would be. We're counting that six, but we can't. That's inclusive counting. And so it actually has to be six minus two, which would be four, which is what we need. Same thing if the line has five people. B is B and that's L. We could, we could do 5 minus, minus 1, but there, but there aren't 4 people in the middle. middle. There's only 3, so that's actually 5 minus, five minus two. 2. That's why that answer is C. C. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, we get some, oh, we get some static, static up in here. That's nice. That's nice. That's, that's some that's some good static, static right in there. That is some that very, very nice. nice. That's some that's very, very nice static. static. I like it. I like it very much. Very much. Okay. Okay. So, so we have so two more questions, questions and, then and then I'm going to be doing a time design, guys. Um, so <laughs> so <laughs> give a thumbs up, thumbs up, smash that like button if you love the static. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't already for more hot static action coming your way. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I just yeah, picked out yeah, numbers. That's what's up. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. So, so. <laughs> make the box. What box? All right. So let's do two more questions, and then we'll go into a timed assignment. So I need to make a four-digit passcode. Oh, here we go. And I don't mind repeating numbers. If I can use numbers zero through nine to create my code, how many four-digit passcodes can I make? What a time to be alive, geek. <laughs> uh, that's funny. I will pull crack. I, dude, I will, bro. <laughs> the best quality static. Thanks, man. Yeah, Lulu, I have zero control of the static, so I, I really, I wish I could turn it off or on, but I really can't. Uh, Ziao. So the question, what a time to be alive, geek. <laughs> skills a boss nice a boss henry dude yay xiao good badman good yay leo jane tages nice april yay dude yes 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 my chat is so strong so strong dude leong yeah phoenix good brielle that's what's up dude that is what's up, Venus. Got you. Dude, really, really nice. Geek, I think I already got you. I got you again, dude. Um, <laughs> Lettuce. That's funny, April. Lettuce, pool. Dude, yeah, you guys all crush this. I don't even need to go over it. Venna. Make out Hill. I'm just going to call you Hill. All right, cool. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious badman uh okay so yeah i'm gonna show you guys how to do this obviously you guys know how to do this this is a permutation you guys did not fall for it that's 10 digits not nine very nice we have one two three four spaces order does matter so this is a permutation 10 potential 10 potential 10 potential 10 potential and yeah you're gonna equal d really nicely done chat yeah okay one more and then we'll go into the timed assignment uh okay bros here we go. AC is the diameter. BC, or I'm sorry, AB equals BC. What is the area of the shaded region? Let's go. Oh, I forgot you animation space. Shout out to animation space. Shout out to introvert. Both you are, you both you are real homies. That's a great word, April precedent. That's great. Not yet, not the poll yet. <laughs> That's the next five questions, the one after this. All right, Laurel. Dude, Laurel, you're going to be mad. Check your work. You're moving too quick. Oh, <laughs> message retracted. That's so funny. I can see that in real time. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, there's a Discord out there, Make Out Hill. Uh, 
Uh, Ricky's got B2. Got you, Ricky. Okay. <laughs> Ziao's got B. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> retracted. Infernus. A boss. Henry. Uh, Phoenix has got C. Okay, pool. Gotcha, bro. Um, I don't know where that code is floating around. Jane. I'll separate you guys. Um, a boss. Cool. Skills. Nice skills. Introvert. Yeah, dude. Badman. Tejas. Good, Tejas. Lechuga. Nice. Uh, Alana. April. Dude, good. Bruh. You put C by accident? Well, too late, bro. First answer only. That's how we were all around here. Animation space. Didn't miss you, bro. Got you. Uh, Lulu. Wait, is that Lulu for C? Yeah. Red Wands got B. Dude, the chat is split. The chat is split. Pool, you're down here. Oh, no, I already got you, Pool. Too late, bro. <laughs> Brielle. Got you. <laughs> Venna, Shad. Okay. All right, let's go over this. Three minutes, way too long. Anyways, okay, guys. Yeah. So, what you'll know is that that diameter is 28. So, that means that that radius is 14. So, the area of the whole circle is that 14 times 14 action. 16, 4, 5, uh, 0, 4, 1. 696 196 that's the area of the whole circle what's the area of the half circle well you got to divide that by two guys ninety eight so the half circle is ninety eight so all of you guys that did one six one ninety six you're counting this area too and that's not shaded so we just have to count the half circle which is ninety six pi total and we have to subtract this triangle. So if these two arms are equal, then we know that if a line goes through it, it's gonna bisect and make a 90 degree. And so this is 14, and this is 14, and this is 14. So that means we can find out the area of this triangle, no problem. Because the base is 28, the height is 14, and we're divided by two, so I could just do 28 times seven instead, because it's base times height divided by two. So the height divided by two is seven. Uh, six, 50, 14, 19. Did I do that right? 14, 19, yeah, I did. How is the answer not here? 196, did I build this problem wrong? I built the problem wrong, oh my God. None of these answers work. So uh, the actual answer here would be 96 pi minus 196. Um, I don't know why that's not an answer choice. I blame, I blame the Illuminati because <laughs> I blame the Illuminati for that. Uh, but yeah, this is the answer is um, 96 pi minus 196. Okay. So guys, now we're going to get into the poll answers. I'm going to try again. Divide by two, April. Um, yeah. No? What are you saying no for? I totally did. Why do I keep crumpling papers when I know I should? Why? It's an addiction. I'm addicted to crumpling papers. Yeah, I did this right. I, I really don't think it's the, the answer. Because what the area of this triangle is, the base is 28, the height is 14. And so if I do 1 half base times height, that's 14 times 14, so that's going to be 196. So yeah, this is the answer. Um, everybody got it right technically because there is no right answer. Boy. So yeah. <laughs> I know April. Uh, yeah. 
Yep, pretty much. Okay. <laughs> so if you can't do the poll, that's fine. That's not a big deal. I'm just going to try it. I, this week is like a first trying week. But you can always put your answer in the chat too. That's totally fine. Um, but I'm not going to write down your name on the piece of paper because I want to keep the answer kind of a secret here. Um, all right. So first question, you guys get a minute and a half. Let's go. Question one. You're addicted to science. <laughs> the Illuminati is divided by two. That's funny. Yeah, that's right. Just push the I button in the upper right corner of the screen, guys. Uh, the poll is in the upper right corner of the screen if you're on desktop. This is question number one. Okay, we got some answers coming in. Jane's on B, Ricky's on D, Jordan's on B, Pull Crack's on B, so is Yashin and Lechuga. And Leung. And Furnace is on it too. Okay, that's a minute and a half. Next question. Question number two. Minute and a half, let's go. Okay, April's got B. Another minute, guys. Another 45 seconds. 80's got A. Xiao's got A, too. So does Infernus has got C, Ricky's got C. 30 more seconds. Zia's got A, Lechuga's got A, Badman's got C, Gio's got A, Brielle's got C, Ricky's got C, yeah. Phoenix has got C. Mm-hmm. Jane's on C too. April C, a boss is on A. Brielle, yeah. Pool crack is on C. Five more seconds. <laughs> you saw my trick. Okay, that's number two. Question number three. Let's go. Minute and a half. <laughs> yeah, I did trick you. That's the whole point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Pull crack. Mm hmm. Yep. That's what's up, dude. Yeah, that's the trick. Always should be on your guard, dude. The SHSAT is trying to trick you as much as possible. Yeah, exactly. All right, guys, 40 more seconds. Let's go. You can throw your answers in the poll. You can throw them in the chat.
Okay, that's too much time already. Fourth question. Question number four. Let's go. I'll read it. There is an unknown amount of balls in a satchel. The balls are green, red, and blue. The probability of selecting a red ball is one seventh. The probability of selecting a green ball is one eighth. What is the probability of randomly, sele randomly selecting a red or blue ball? Um, generally, the to answer your questions, Yao, you only want to miss like one or two, bro. This is a good question. I don't think I've given you guys a probability question this hard before. Although this last one is what I'm excited about. Okay, another 30 seconds, let's get it. All right, I'll give you guys two and a half minutes for this one, because this one's kind of hard. Or I'll give you guys two minutes, how about that? Just two minutes. Jane's got A, Badman's got A. That guy's another 30 seconds. Sugar's got B, pool cracks got B, lettuce, saggy Troy. Yeah, this is a hard question. All right, 10 more seconds, guys. Okay, that's time. All right, last one. All right, guys. Oh, my phone died. All right, sorry, hold on. Let me like fix this so it's not horrible dude my phone ran out of room i was like filming some other stuff on it and it like ran out of room that's like tragic hold on sorry <laughs> it's coming back okay all right so all right last question i can't time it because i'm out of space but we can do it anyways um is, you guys can see it let's go Uh, just that, sh just the green part. It's the outer circle is obviously the bigger of the two circles here, and there's grass in between these two circles. All right, Jane got B, Phoenix got B, Ricky's got A, Phoenix got B. <sighs> April's got B too. Okay. Saggy's got B. Yeah. Lettuce got B. Venice got B. Tejas has got B. All right, dudes. Introvert. Nice. Pool cracks got B too. Noise. Boss. I see you, bro. Okay, cool. Sorry, right, let's go through this one. I want to go through this one and I want to go through number four just because I think both of these were really good. Um, so people, some people are kind of tempted with this problem. Um, but I mean, at the same time, like I wouldn't be too kind of 
like crazy about like worried about the circumference here because if the outer circle has a radius of eight feet that means the circumference is going to be 16 pi because it's pi times diameter you know what i mean so yeah i mean a lot of people do 16 pi times one foot and they get c but nobody got c so i'm like super excited about that really well done so we know that the whole area for this is going to be 64 pi for the whole outside circle because that's pi r squared we know that the radius for the inter in inter circle is seven so that means that this is 49 pi when you do your subtraction that's 15 pi bros really nice so that one's really good okay um <laughs> and then here is uh number four which i thought was such a good question um so the the big thing for this is when you are asked if the probability of, of uh, randomly selecting red or blue, right? So that's like the, that's kind of the thing. For example, what is the probability of flipping a coin and getting heads or tails, right? Like, well, the probability of heads is one half, probability of tails is one half, and the probability of landing on a side of the coin is one. So that's all you're doing, you're adding them up, okay? So we're going to get these into a way that we can compare them. We know that the probability of a red ball is one seventh. Probability of a green ball is one eighth. So that's the same thing as saying eight fifty sixth, And that's the same thing as saying seven fifty sixth. So together, they're uh, going to be 15, 56, which means what's relating or what's basically um, what's remaining. You know what I mean? Um, so it would be 56 minus 15, that's 141. So 41 56 is how many blue balls there are, because that's our red, green, and this equals our blue. So what it says is that the, we're looking for the probability of a red or a blue. Red is 8, blue is 41. So 41 56 plus 8 56 equals 49 56 and if i divide both of these by seven yeah i'm gonna get that b answer so yeah that's how this one goes <laughs> yeah so yeah i mean that's basically how this one is um <laughs> oh my god so yeah really good job today bros really really nice i want to get some ela together tomorrow so that we can work on some ela and stuff um <laughs> yeah brielle that's it that's exactly it yep that's how you do that circle one for sure yeah thought green was blue mm, yep that's what's up yeah mm -hmm. okay yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. All right, dude. So I have to get going because I have another tutoring session in 20 minutes. So yeah, I gotta, I gotta bust out of here. Um, if you have any questions, I was moving kind of fast today because I'm, I'm always worried about doing enough problems for you guys. But if you have any questions and I was moving too fast or if I just didn't explain it right, you can hit me up via email. I got you pretty much. You know what I mean? So yeah, don't even, don't even trip. Let's see. That's my email right there. Uh, I said we were going to do it Tuesday or Thursday, Tuesday or Wednesday, Leo. So I got one more day, bro. <laughs> one more day. Okay. Uh, it's the iconic ending. Here we go. Um, yeah. Send me an email, Saggy. If you got a question about it, bro, I got you. Don't even trip. Um, yeah. April, you can send an email if you got a question. I, I don't have time to go over them, unfortunately. Um, yeah, because I do have to get out of here right now. I have to go eat before this tutoring session. Um, here's my website, tylertutor.com. If you go to tylertutor.com slash math, you will get to more math worksheets and more stuff like that. Yeah. So, yeah, what a time to be alive, Batman. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I appreciate all the uh, subscriptions and stuff like that. Um, really, 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 really thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Um, definitely pound that like button. Yeah, it is double token week. I know that Leo, I've been trying to, uh, I've been really trying to level up some of my characters, uh, Barley. I'm like trying to level him up really hard. So yeah, I'll probably be playing that later tonight, but I have like another 
You know what I mean? Yeah, don't even trip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so yeah email me no problem i got you dudes if you have any friends you want to go to specialized high school with definitely let them know so that they can sub to the channel i'm trying to get to 1k really really bad so i can be a real youtube channel uh yeah <laughs> uh, okay bros i gotta go i gotta get out of here good stream today we'll be back um yeah so just we'll be back tomorrow man we'll be doing some ela and stuff so yeah keep it uh keep it cool i'll see you guys then bye